a very good day to you uh, so today uh, this video talks about uh, uh, VBA programming sorry I have a bad throat actually please pardon me for that uh, so I received this email uh, from a student and uh, she says that she has this requirement uh, she has a numbers in you know some col colored cells you know uh, like this in yellow and the numbers are in negative so what she wants to do is uh, she says that she might have some other uh, you know she she has like colors in this in this as well in this color as well right and uh, you got some negative values in with these colors as well but uh, what she wants to do is she is interested only in the yellow color cells and that too with the negative value so wherever uh, this excel this table has uh, you know yellow cells like 88 and 43 and in addition to that the number is a negative uh, she wants that you know there has to be some program with the help of which one click these all numbers will be turned into a positive number right so we have two conditions the cell color has to be yellow and yellow cell color should be your negative right and our objective is to make them positive so um, I've already prepared a VBA program and I'll just show you what you need to do is uh, that's the program let me just uh, increase the height so that you can see all the program okay so I have given a name of color check to this uh, subroutine procedure and we have defined here the last row the variable and we have given it a long so that you know it can work even um, uh, after you know 10 lakh which we have the rows in the excel now this variable has um, going to hold some value which is this code is going to give me this is going to give me the last row the active row which means in this case it is going to give me the seventh row so if I increase this table because tomorrow this table may have 10 elements may have 15 elements may have 1000 elements or even more than that so this last row variable will hold that value because we have made it dynamic through this uh, syntax right so this syntax says that from uh, you know this uh, one lakh cell it will go it go to the up to the last cell and uh, find out the row just remember that this in case if you are working on the excel 2003 then then in excel 2003 we don't have so many rows we have only 65,500 and you know um, somewhere around I think 36 rows so you'll have to change this value accordingly but this is uh, I have prepared it in excel 2010 and uh, 2007 onwards this will be applicable in all the versions but not before excel 2007 and in order to make it available on the you know workable on the excel 2003 version you will have to simply copy this code and you will have to write it here maybe some maybe 65,000 if you want it if you want it uh, you know if you want it to start from the very last cell right and you need to comment this code or maybe delete this code right but I'm not doing that because I know that most of the now users are these days are either on the 2010 or you know 13 of late to uh, 2013 is the latest one so anyways let me come to the next point uh, I have uh, again a declared a variable called neg value which will hold a value of minus one and then we are uh, running a loop which starts with the i equals to one to the last row now whatever the value will this uh, last row holds it will come here so what happens is that if you, if you have a table of seven then this loop, loop will automatically runs you know seven times if it is going to have a seven thousand rows then it is going to run seven thousand times and here I am seeing that the my cell which is on this row you know I I would be uh, this loop as it keeps on moving this I will keep on changing from one two three four five six seven until it reaches to the last row right and so this is how the my cell address the interior color if this is this is for the yellow right you can check this in uh, by making a macro by making a you know by re recording a macro you can simply record the macro and you can check what color actually it gives so I have recorded a macro and I saw that this is the yellow color right so if this is six five uh, five three five then uh, what I want is that this cell the active cell you know it should be multiplied with the minus one so aut automatically minus will be multiplied with the minus and you'll get the positive value so before I start this loop I just want to tell you in case if you're wondering that if you didn't get the point how you can get actually the code of the color whether it's blue white or yellow right so what you need to do is um, go to any blank sheet and let me enter some value here and let's record a macro 
So I'm going to record a macro and I, uh, let, let's say, let me name this junk. I don't really need it. I'll delete it after, you know, I make a use of it. Now this is the stop recording. So this macro is now being recorded. So what I want to do is uh, let's go to the home tab and let's give the yellow color right that's it you really don't require the second number so now afterwards or maybe you can check that you know what in case if you insert some other color what value will it give you returns you so i'll come to the developer tab again and i'll stop it right and now i will go to the module and i'll see that in case if i have some uh, module you know so i'm going to check here now this is going to be my uh, module Okay, so as you can see here that uh, I'm getting the number here, right? The yellow one is 65535, right? You remember we inserted some number over here, right? So that's how you can actually get the color, you know, of your this, um, um, whatever cell, I mean, uh, the color you're going to give. So that's the number which I noted and I uh, just I have used uh, this number by, you know, taking the help of the macro editor. So you can do it in case if it is not your yellow color, it could be anything else. You can record the macro and you can uh, check the number. So now let's, uh, let us run this code. Uh, I'm going to go in the debug mode and I'm going to press F8 or maybe you can take the help of this step into. Now let us check what value it is going to hold. Now you see this last row it is going to hold the seven value right it is holding the seven value because it is starting from the a uh, one lakh and it is going to the it is going in the upper direction and in the upper direction it is finding this or this cell you know which is the filled one so that's why by default uh, i mean we have made it with the help of this formula this will always return the uh, row number of the last filled cell of your table and that's what we actually want now this is a variable and uh, I'm going to press F here and this has a minus one. Now this I will start from, you know, this again a variable. You can write anything, whatever you want, uh, J, K or maybe any any other number as long as it is not a VBA keyword. Now this Q, uh, this loop will run from one equals to the last row, which is seven. So you see seven times this loop will run. Now this I right now holds the value one as you can see here, right? And this I now is one, so cells one uh, comma one means that it is going to be the first two and the first column. So ultimately it is going to check my this 34, right? And uh, so now, uh, okay, so let me just reset this and rerun the code because I actually got on the pause, pause mode while recording the video and uh, got some errors actually. So let me just color this as well as I colored initially. Uh, just wanted to tell you that it is only going to be applicable on the yellow color right so I'm going to make this entry negative cell I was recording a video but some uh, due to some reasons I had to pause it and my workbook got crashed and I just reopened it so that's why those previous changes were not saved anyways I've just done it again now let me rerun this code okay now this code will run seven times from i equals to one now the first value which I have ho which I hold here is going to be my minus 34 and I know that the interior color is not this yellow which is the 65535 so even ultimately it will skip the true condition it will not go to the then then line you know it will go to the else now this again will run now I have I2 and I know in 2 I don't have any color so it will again go to the else and again now this time it will check the 3 in 3 again it will not find the yellow color so it will go there now the next time when it runs, I hope that it should run now. Now I equals to 4. So in 4th row, I have this minus 88 eight, and the color is ye yellow. You check this guys, right? Now this time it has not gone to the else. So it is going on the true condition. So that's the interior color 65535, which is this yellow color of a minus 8. Now this time what, what I want is that the value which holds this cell minus 88, you know, you can check the value. Just um, select this and add the watch. You can check you know what value it holds so from here let me just resize it okay now it has a minus 88 value so obviously minus 88 will be multiplied with minus 1 and it, it will change the value to 88 right so you check here now the value is 88 similarly this code will run again now we have a 98 which will not again not a yellow now again um, next time we'll have this what on the sixth row and the first column we have a cell called 43 43 minus 43 is again in a yellow so it will go to the true condition 
right again it it is going to multiply this neg value which is my this variable and it will give me the positive result and next time the last one is 55 which is again not a negative number neither it's a yellow color so this is how my loop now will run and uh, now check the value of the i equal to 7 that's what the value of this last row so now the, all the loops are finished uh, we have circulated this loop from the first till the seventh row right and cover co covered all the cells so now it will go to the enter right need to uh, create the button for this and uh, go to insert and create a button let me add some values some more values and uh, let's make them negative and uh, I'll color this to yellow and this one too and so I've just changed the data for you so that you shouldn't think that you know it is going to work on uh, some specific data now uh, this time just assign a macro to it and that's my color check the macro name you can see here that's the color check macro right and uh, I think let's set now and let's try to click now this and see if these negative values uh, which are in yellow color it would be converted back to the positive one right so I just clicked it and you see that it actually worked so this is how you can um, you know prepare this code and uh, you can create a button and from that button just with just one click you can convert all those numbers which are in which are, which are colored you know uh, uh, whose uh, cell background is yellow and uh, the number is negative it will be automatically converted back to the positive one right so thank you so much and uh, at the end of the video I always share my email ID so that's my email ID let me know in case uh, if you want to know something else uh, maybe it VBA maybe basic Excel advanced Excel uh, so thank you so much and have a very good day bye bye